Hello and welcome to Bharat Shakti dot in. I am Captain D K Sharma, and with me today I have a very very special guest, a serving naval officer from Indian Navy, Commodore A P Gulaya, who heads a very niche organization of the Indian Navy called as Naval Innovations and Indigenization Cell. You will ask me what was the need of N I I O to be established. So I must you know go back a little and tell you that innovations are as such. full of risks and our procedures in the armed forces are risk averse so to bridge this gap the indian navy started this department with a willingness to fail but with the hope to succeed the indian navy in collaboration with dio launched the scheme of idex in which 75 challenges and here the challenges were the problem statements put out by the navy to the industry and this was formally inaugurated by the honorable prime minister of india shri narendra modi in last july and it was the the seminar was called as swavalamban 2022 now a few days down the line swavalamban 2023 is going to kick off in delhi where all these msmes who have turned the problem statements into actual products which are at various stages of tests and trials and of course a few of them have also been uh, given the approval by the government of india so for all these things i have with me komodo gulaya welcome to the show komodo gulaya right my first right, question to you is can you give us a recap of what sprint initiator was and what has been achieved by the indian navy along with the msmes in the past one year since the time when the prime minister invited all of them to delhi and gave them the challenges which they happily accepted um uh, so it seems like yesterday when i gave my last interview to bharat shakti which was just before the first or so the maiden edition of swavalamban uh, so if you recall that time our sprint uh, was just an idea and we said that uh, we would be a uh, sprint was a statement of intent by the indian navy where we said that to celebrate the azadi ka amrit mahotsav we will develop at least 75 technologies or products so this uh, uh, sprint uh, as uh, we had discussed even in the last interview more than an uh, acronym it was a backronym first we uh, decided on the name sprint because it uh, exemplifies technology acceleration which is the need of the r and uh, the sprint stands for supporting pool vaulting in r&d through idex niio and tdac So uh, it is a collaborative project, as you mentioned, between the Defence Innovation Organisation, which of course uh, handles the IDEX challenges, and the NIIO, which is the Naval Innovation and Industrialisation Organisation. Um, so we came together. We gave out a seventy-five challenges to the industry under the IDEX scheme using the existing procedures. And uh, in addition, uh, we also had, of course, the in-house uh, Naval innovations. Uh, so uh, the aim was to develop seventy-five technologies, and I'm happy to tell you that uh, the aim will not only be met. but it will be surpassed we are quite proud of uh, the kind of the the startups have risen to the occasion we we are also surprised with the kind of products which they uh, come up with and uh, we hope to showcase them in the upcoming swavalamban seminar which is there on 4th and 5th of october uh, at bharat mandapam uh, the response from the industry was overwhelming we received uh, more than 11 in fact 1106 to be precise we received 1106 uh, proposals from the industry which were uh, then shortlisted uh, we went through the screening committee process and finally 118 winners were declared who then were engaged in the i i want to interrupt you here uh, as i understand that the problem statement was uh, defined by the navy and then you put it out to the industry of course uh, the indian navy and your teams met each and everybody and explained it to them now when the winners are there uh, like you are saying that there are 118 winners who are working so there might be a case where two companies are working on a same statement or maybe one company is working on multiple statements so is that uh, the thing uh, yes sir so um, as you mentioned uh, one company so as per the idex norms as i said the existing idex norms were followed uh, gave with a very large number of challenges some of the rules uh, were modified by the ministry of defense uh, or the defense innovation organization uh, so up to uh, five challenges can be taken by one firm or one startup at one time uh so the one firm can take up to five challenges 
and for one challenge you get have multiple forms working and to your uh, the other query what has happened over the last one year uh, regarding your uh, other query sir what's happened about uh, what's happened in the last one year one year uh, in the last one year we've uh, been busy working with our partners uh, with the the firms uh, as you're aware in nii we do not uh, use the term vendors we use the word partners partners and uh, we have been uh, providing that inputs we've been giving the user inputs uh, we've been uh, engaged with them uh, so as to make sure that the product have an issue where it has been developed the user inputs are available at all stages and finally the product which comes if it has been made with the user inputs it's more likely to meet the user uh, expectations or the user requirements so that is the model of ideas and that is what we followed uh, given the very large number of firms uh, we had uh, individual nodal officers uh, for each case uh, both from the dio side and from the navy side who proactively engaged with the firms and uh, uh, not only gave them uh, course corrections and feedback. Uh, so the uh, innovation was done by the firms, but uh, the Navy was involved at all stages uh, to give the specific requirements, uh, give them suggestions where required, uh, to help them with trials uh, where needed. Uh, so this was a uh, iterative process and uh, we went to do it that way. I just want to ask you one thing. You said that uh, we have nodal officers. So that means all the commands of the Navy do have a kind of organization where the MSMEs can contact them and through them they are... Uh, so for, every, you... for every IDEX case, a nodal officer is assigned, sir. Okay. Uh, specifically uh, for that case, who or, works with the firm uh, on that. And uh, of course, being in the technology development acceleration cell, we also monitoring all the cases uh, so as to have the, this thing. So uh, uh, the, the, each uh, particular case will have a nodal officer assigned because as I said, it is not about procurement. It is about development and more interestingly, it's about co-development. So the users have to work with the startups. So Commodore Golaya, uh, last Swavalamban was throwing the challenge open to the MSMEs. It's been one year now and we have heard and read and on your Twitter and various other press releases of the Indian Navy. We have uh, a full confidence that a lot of progress has been made. So what sets this Swavalamban that is Swavalamban 2023, apart from the other one which you did last year. Awesome. And what is the difference between Swavalamban and other seminars and exhibitions which do take place all across the nation? Uh, so, uh, uh, I take the first question first, sir. Uh, last Swavalamban was about a vision. Last uh, Swavalamban was about, uh, it was a statement of intent that we intend developing at least 75 technologies. Uh, this one, I would say, is about... Uh, living up to the promises and delivering on the promises. Because what we had committed last time, this time we shall be showcasing that it has been achieved. Plus, you will be throwing more challenges out? Uh, there will be some more challenges, sir. Uh, for the industry at this time, uh, that that would, of course, be there. But uh, if I focus on the second part of your question, uh, which was that what sets... Swavalaman, apart, apart from, from any other, other exhibition, or exhibition uh, I feel, that uh, the basic difference which is there, uh, if you go to any exhibition, it is the startups who are trying to showcase their products and trying to catch the attention of the user. User. Uh, in this case, it is the user who is Again, showcasing, who's showcasing what has been made for the startups. So it, it's not a question of catching the attention of the users because these products obviously already meet the user requirements. Uh, you would be aware, um, HQ Ideas, in fact, had uh, put this post out a few days back. Uh, from the products which have been made already, uh, events for 12 cases amounting to close to 1,500 crores have been put out. So, uh, we are aware of the products. Here, it is more about, I would say, celebration of innovation. So, the startups who have worked with us and us who want to showcase what the startups have done. So that, I think, is a very, very significant difference uh, between uh, Swavalamban and the other seminars. But this is this is what I understand. It's a game in progress now. This is a work in progress till infinity. Because innovations, our aim as a country is to reduce import dependence. And probably once we you know master the art or my products are world class, then uh, maybe look for exports. So this is, that is why I'm saying that in this Swavalamban, Swavalamban 2023, will there be a big kind of a, a opening of challenges? Or are you going to give some roadmap that this is what the Navy is looking at and whosoever is making it, please come meet us 
these are my problem statements and this is how it is uh, going to move forward. Uh, so to answer that, sir, there are two things I would like to say. You asked about the roadmap. Uh, you would recollect in the last edition of Swagalambin, we had released the Indian Navy's unmanned roadmap. Uh, this time around, uh, we are planning to uh, unveil the updated version of Indian Navy's indigenization roadmap. Uh, interestingly, that would be unveiled on the day one of the seminar. On the second day, we would have a dedicated session, uh, which is an interactive session focused on the industry, where we will explain uh, those uh, our requirements to them and also give them a chance to you know, ask us the specific doubts. So, so that means basically people will go through that and uh, probably there are problem statements there only. And that is how that, to that, find that, a... Uh, that, that, that is right. So it it, it it'll give a roadmap of uh, what the Indian Navy needs and in what time frame. Perfect. But uh, I, I'll come back uh, to you. You said it's a road which has been started. So uh, yeah. uh, this is... Uh, I heard this... Uh, Coming through me by somebody, and I found it very, very interesting. This is the sprint has started, but the marathon lies ahead. Correct. It will be a marathon which lies ahead, and it is a process which has been set in motion. And uh, this is something which will have an impact on our global Bharat. It is not that uh, this was a one year project which is ended. It is an ongoing process. Innovation and indigenization shall continue. And my final question is look, innovations, yes, we have come a long way. Uh, Unfortunately, it was not being you know addressed earlier, but now all the three services and you being part of one of them, innovations now are there and here to stay because the focus of the government, the Ministry of Defense is on self-reliance, Atmanirvarta. By the day, by the hour, the import percentage has to go down. The niche technology or the products or the you know, assets which we were getting. We are now looking at doing everything over here. And uh, that being one part, what uh, impact do you think it will make on exports? Maybe not now, 10 years down the line, 5 years down the line. So it will have the potential. They will have that uh, liberty to, you know, deal with the Indian Armed Forces and all the MSMEs can also, uh, will they be allowed to, you know, move out of the realm of uh, supplying only to our armed forces and then move uh, out for exports. Uh, so what just, you know, crystal gazing on it. I'm not uh, very so, clear so, about so, the... So, so, so uh, crystal gazing on it, as you yeah. uh, said, uh, to be able to export, uh, we, of course, have made the things to meet our requirements and we do believe that some of the um, products which have come out of the Spain Initiative are, are breaking. Uh, we do believe that it will meet the needs not only of the Navy, but in fact of other agencies within India, other armed forces as well as... Uh, uh, so if I can just give you an example of the firefighting bot, which was the first case actually for which the contract was signed, uh, that would also be useful uh, for uh, you know civil applications. Correct. Uh, so uh, our aim was not exports. But uh, since you mentioned that we can be pistol gaze, so if I, I, if I was to pistol gaze, I would say that uh, the first prerequisite for exports is to have a product which can be exported. Correct. The very fact that uh, one in Sprint we have had close to a hundred companies which are coming into the defense fold for the very first time, who have entered the defense ecosystem for the very first time, and secondly, a large number of products which meet the user requirements and which will be inducted soon into the Indian Navy would be available. So those are the products which, if they meet our needs, I'm sure they will meet the needs of the other users as well, both in India as well as abroad. Given uh, the cost advantage which Make in India has, I see no reason for uh, it not to have a very large export market. Uh, however, as you said, that is something which time shall tell. Uh, we are fairly confident that it can be a game changer, not only for the domestic requirements which we have, but also for uh, the international market. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this was the man himself who is heading the NIIO of Indian Navy and has been working very closely with the industry, whether it is the medium, small or the micro entrepreneurs. And we have, uh, I mean, say the Indian Navy has given them the guidance, all the support and without the fear of failure. As you're all aware, Swabalaman is now a few days away from us. It is happening in New Delhi, in Bharat Mandapam, on 4th and 5th October. Those of you who 
have the time and inclination, may I please visit that place and have a look at what our generation next is capable of doing. Thank you very much and do subscribe to our channel for more news of this kind. Thank you.